Hey there, Pastor Mike here from Georgetown Church of the Nazarene. We are in day 21 of our Lenten devotional series, and uh, we're going to find ourselves in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 through 14 today. Uh, this is the passage of scripture outlined in uh, Water for the Way for day 21 of our series that we're going through. And uh, this book is written by Dr. Gabriel Benjamin, and you can get a copy of it if you'd like from the Foundry Publishing and... Uh, we would love to have you continue to join us through all these videos. If you haven't been here uh, for some of our other videos, I encourage you to, after this one's done or before, if you want to go back first, uh, go back and review some of the other days. Um, or you can choose to just continue to view these each day and then go back when we conclude this series here in a couple of weeks. But uh, again, we're um, day 21. It The actual date today is March 17th, uh, 2023. And uh, the devotional for today is titled in, the, in, in Water for the Way as Children of Light. We're going to read from Ephesians 5, 8 through 14 to get started. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Dr. Benjamin writes, Light is a form of energy. The sun is a glorious example that light energy is transferable and indestructible. That which cannot radiate light suffers the absence of it. Light, in a very basic form, is a source of warmth. Darkness and cold are the manifest absence of light and warmth. In Ephesians, the Apostle Paul takes time to unpack the theology of the leadership of Christ. The letter to the Ephesians gives a clear understanding of the foundational power of Christ and his work in the adoption of those who once were far off. In Ephesians, Paul presents Jesus as the light shining through the church. Jesus is the ultimate purpose and cause for love and light. He is also the way the light of reason and the light of love are reintroduced to a darkened world. It is wonderful to know that although we may not be the source of light, we may be like the moon, reflecting the light. The moon remains in proximity and relationship with the sun and becomes vital to the seasons of the earth. Jesus said, Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The world could do with a great light and clarity to walk in love. Um, I've always been fascinated with how the sun and the moon work together to bring light. I remember uh, years ago when I was in junior high, we were driving from Anchorage, Alaska back to uh, North Pole, Alaska, where I was growing up. And as we were going through the Denali National Park, it was dark. But I could see for miles. Why? Because there was snow on the ground everywhere. And the moon was high in the sky, brightly reflecting the light of the sun down onto the world. And that light was then reflecting off of the snow and creating a really a, a beautiful, dark, but well-lit scene um, for us to see by. Um, I'm pretty sure my dad could have turned the headlights off the car and been able to drive reasonably well just off of the light that was being reflected. How brightly are we reflecting Christ? How brightly are we reflecting God's love and mercy? How brightly are we reflecting the power of the message of the gospel? Is Christ shining through us? This is the question we have to ask ourselves. How well can people see Jesus in us? That's what this season of Lent is really about, is us taking time to evaluate our lives, our spiritual condition, and to seek God, that he might make himself more fully known in us and through us. So let us consecrate ourselves to him and seek to be a living, bright, shining reflection of his grace, goodness, and love. I'm going to say a word of prayer with us today, with you today, for us, and then we'll go on with whatever this day uh, has in store 
by the mercy of, and grace of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we spend together today. We ask that you would continue to work in us. Father, create in us the, the, the light that we need to shine forth. Father, help us to become the people you have called us to be. To do the tasks that you have for us to do. Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians 2.10, Lord, we are God's workmanship. We are created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God, you, have prepared in advance for us to do. Lord, we ask that you would help us to fulfill these purposes and these tasks. Father, may we shine forth a clear light, your light, and may lives be changed and transformed as your light pierces the darkness of people's souls and conditions. Father, may we see your kingdom come and your will done on earth as it is in heaven in the days that are to come and the days that are already here. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you'll join me next time for our continued uh, devotional videos uh, as we move through the season of Lent toward Easter. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.